snack has played a, a huge part in my training camp. The protein, the, the ZMA, everything. The, the pre-workout has played such a major part in my training camp, keeping me healthy, keeping me recovered, keeping me feeling good, strong, and ready for my next workout. Welcome to the stage at this time. Fighting out of Florida by way of Odo Tukon, Russia. That battle ready is rather in rank the WBA number three middleweight. Don't trust on a B. I don't trust nobody. Hey, bitch, I'm charged up. Yeah. Power up. And his opponent Hey, watch me level up. Really from Brighton, Sussex, England. Oh. Yeah. Hey, bitch, I'm charged up. Flexing on you haters. Ay. 21 years old, so I'm done with being patient. Fuck also, it. handsome bitch on foreign, bitch. have a rock and have Jamaican. <laughs> Lost boy on his bully, never lacking yeah, on the pavement. Yeah, yeah. Always had the drip, it came naturally. naturally. Dropped out of school, I fucked the faculty. Yeah, fuck up. Mixing up this potion like it's alchemy. And I'll just tell your bitch to the Applebee's. Two for three. Different bank accounts for checks, delivery cashing up. All these niggas looking stupid, think they passing us. Stupid. Ain't no race, my niggas lapped them, think they catching up. I'm finessing different fashions while I'm ashing blunts. We be pulling up in shit you niggas never seen. Shorty want me, said she needed like a crack fiend. Now they wanna call us, baby, she and Prada. Kicked it like a Sparta. Hey, bitch, I'm charged up. Yeah. Power up. Level up. Oh. Yeah. Hey, bitch, I'm charged up. Yeah. Power up. Yeah, watch me level up. Hey, level up. Yeah. Pull up in the hoodie with the scythe. This is not a beamer, it's a bike. I ain't never stopping for a light. For a light no. Maybe all them teachers called it right. Psych. Hey, smoking on a split, but behave. Oh, behave. Getting too high, I need a race. Hey, Gucci, 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 throwing shade. It's expensive. Only play bar mitzvahs, fuck a rave. You hear me? Hello? Smoking on loud so I can't see clearly. Get the fuck from near me. Fuck you. Stacking up bucks like I'm Kevin O'Leary. You in the tank? I'm a shark. Fuck yeah. what you think? I'm a star. Up yeah. in my rank. You with the start? I'm yeah. in the sun and you stuck in the stuck dark. In the dark. Living with a man that needs a couture mom. We on deck. That's on anything I do at all. Hey. Pimpin' slim boss. Getting hella cross. Crazy hey. anything could set hey. me off. Hey, bitch, I'm charged up. Yeah. Power up. Level up. Oh. Yeah. Hey, bitch, I'm charged up. Yeah. Power up. Yeah, watch me level up. Hey, level up. Yeah. Matt Karaboff. There are people already talking about your opponent, Chris Eubank, fighting for a world championship. He hasn't fought you yet. Is this added motivation for you that you're being discounted? Yes, of course. Uh, it's a big motivation. It's a title fight, no doubt. So, I'm really happy to be here again. So, let's show, we're ready to show and prove that I'm going to be a next WBA champion. Tell us how and why you're going to beat Chris Eubank. I'll show you tomorrow, all right? We'll see you Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Good luck. Thank you. Chris Eubank Jr., 159 and change. First time you've made middleweight in about three years or so. How do you feel now physically compared to how you felt when you made 168 pounds? I feel great, man. I was eating, I was eating all throughout the night last night. I was sipping on water all day today. Um, this is my natural weight. I'm not fighting a guy that's 20 pounds heavier than me on a night. Now I'm fighting a guy that's my size, and it's going to show. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to stop this kid. You were doing a little talking there during the stare out. What were you saying? I'm just letting them know what's coming. You know, I'm not out here to play. This is my first fight in the U.S., first fight in New York. 
it's a dream come true and I'm going to come out here and I'm going to make an explosive statement to the middleweight division and then I'm coming for all the belts after that. Your first fight in the USA, I know you've been here a lot. Also a lot of pressure because, as you said, this could lead to a world title fight against the winner of our main event. What exactly would you like American fight fans to be saying about you tomorrow morning when they wake up after watching your fight? You know, I've actually just been told that this will now be a world title fight. Apparently Canelo Alvarez has stepped down. So, um, you know, this is actually going to be for the actual title. That's what I've been told. Um, but yeah, you know, this is just, uh, this is an amazing introductory fight for me. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to introduce myself as the next, the next kingpin of the middleweight division. You know, I've been fighting at 168 for the last three years. I'm IBO super middleweight world champion, but I'm not, I'm not super middleweight. This is my natural weight. I feel good. I feel strong. And I'm going to take these guys out. Appreciate it. Chris Sr., a great champion in his own right. His dad standing over here to the right. Thank you. Good luck.